So many of us grapple with this identity crisis post um, delivery or once you have a baby in your arms, however they get into your arms of like, who am I now? I know I definitely did, but it sounds like you had that moment from the second you got pregnant. Is that, is that fair? Yeah, I think so. And, you know, my mom has three daughters and all she ever wanted to be was a mom. Like she knew that her whole life. And so she was just like so excited for us me and my sister when we became moms and like that bothered me because I was like there's other things about me like I'm more than just this like it doesn't mean it's the only thing we talk about now or um you know and I think that while I was pregnant I kind of felt like that and then weirdly the second I had her I was very much like I don't know what's going to happen when I have her. Like, I don't know how I'm going to feel. Everybody was like, are you so excited to meet her? And I didn't really know what to be excited for if you've never done it. Yeah. You know, I was like, yeah, I guess. But I felt a little apathetic. And then the second she came out, I was like obsessed with her and blissed out of my mind. And I was like, you know. I thought everybody was amazing. Life was like so beautiful. I was like on a manic high, I feel like for a few months where my mom would call and I'd answer and be like, I love that my mom calls me all the time. (laughs) Like, I just was like, I thought everybody was amazing. I'm never going to be able to do comedy anymore. I have no edge. I'm not mean anymore. I guess I'm just going to be like a mom blogger now or something. And (laughs) I was freaking out about that. But then I also realized, like, as I kind of came back to myself, like, I am I love being a mom. I love my daughter so much. I don't really want, I'm not the kind of person that, like, wants to wear her name on a necklace because I still want to have my own name. And I think it's, I don't have any judgment on anybody who wants to wear their kid's name on a necklace. But for me, it feels like, I'm erased or something. I have a, um, like feeling of like, I still want to be seen as a person, you know, too, not just as a mom. Hi, I hope you love this little excerpt of Storked, the podcast where we talk about all things family building and families. This was a little taste of the bigger episode. We call it a Storked Munchkin. If you love what you heard, I highly encourage you to check out the full episode wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also find it on the Storked website at storkdpodcast.com. If you're in the process of building your own family or exploring what family means to you and you want to stay up to date on all relevant topics related to family building. Don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter. It's called Let's Start a Family and it is found on Substack. Happy listening.